What makes you so sure he knows? Now we got our free French friends to check him out. Oh, Vierde was the principal construction engineer for the conversion of this underground missile storage area. No, in fact, he was au fait with most things. The organization Tote trusted him completely. What's that worth, man? Organization Tote. Well, they employ many thousands of workers from all over Europe. Well, it's mainly slave labor, of course, but there are many willing workers, other than Germans, who perform at a very high level. But it may surprise you to know, David, uh, plenty of people are not vehemently opposed to Hitler and the Nazis. I wasn't born yesterday, Colonel. I just don't think we should trust everything he says, that's all. Now, what's Gallagher doing? It is urgent, I keep telling Gallagher you. Gallagher is at this moment getting together his sabotage team to go into France. And he needs time. He wants very special people with very special talents. Now, you leave it to him. He's very good at his job. Well, oh, he needs to be my friend, or we can all consider the implications of a German occupation. Now, how soon can they be got into France? No, they have to be trained. Normally, that would take about 12 weeks. 12 weeks? Good God, man. Most of London could be flattened in that time. And untrained in German-occupied France, they wouldn't last 12 hours. Surely even a celebrated physicist can see there. Oh, come on, David. Uh, the Germans still haven't got this guidance mechanism right yet. We still have a little time. Not 12 weeks, Colonel. I don't think anyone properly realizes what these damn things could do. We can't stop them, you see. And once they have that guidance mechanism, they'll fall like rain. Come. Come in, Monsieur Vida. duties during the last 18 months. They're all French-speaking. Oh, as to the man aboard. How oh, aren't we all? Do you think you could round up some coffee for me? Every two hours, I think I may be here all night. Right. And before you go, check that projector's operational, will you please? Oh, it is, sir. I checked it before you arrived. Can you manage to turn it on yourself, sir? I'll struggle with it, Sergeant. Merci, mademoiselle. Il n'y a pas de quoi, monsieur. And that doesn't tell us a damn thing. Monsieur, we need to know everything about this underground complex, not just vague statistics. Look, this site is divided into storage areas, you said, connected by tunnels. A rough map, please, just to talk through. We can proceed to details when we've got the general picture. I've already told you. There are nine main storage areas. Put it down. Three I shall just have to keep looking. It's not your run-of-the-mill volunteer I'm after. I see. Well, will you want me anymore, sir? I'm due to go off duty as soon as my relief turns up, if that's all right. Yes, thank you, Sergeant. You've been a great help. Sir. Two larger areas are merely open stockpiling of the complete article. Now, just a minute. What is that complete article? Well, that's not my field, but they refer to it as the FZG-76. It's a rocket missile driven by a pulsating duck flow motor, and it has an explosive warhead. It carries 150 gallons of fuel, and at the last test firing, we were told about it clocked up a speed of 350 kilometers an hour. That's conservative, I imagine. When you consider that it has a range of about 100 miles, 
and that you can't electronically jam or interfere with the mechanism once the guidance is preset. It's formidable. Indeed it is. Now you tell us where the factories are and where the components are made. My job was to reconstruct certain areas and reinforce old parts of the site. Tote workers, even trusted ones, were not given such information. There was no means of finding out, nor had I any reason to try. We've been here all night. I'm tired. Is this the way you treat your collaborators? I demand to be allowed to sleep. Sleep? Monsieur, now that you're here in England, you'll see the damage and the death these wretched things can cause if we don't stop them. And you'll be on the receiving end. Yes, you just think about that. Thank you, Brooks. Good morning. Could I speak with Miss Portales, please? Oh, I see. Well, would you give her a message when she comes in? Could you ask her to attend an interview at 4 Cunningham Place tomorrow morning at 9.30? Mm-hmm. She is to ask for a Major Gallagher. Thank you. Brooks? Sir? Let records know I'm hanging on to these files, will you? Right, sir. And put them somewhere safe, Brooks. I'll be with the Colonel. It's going to be no picnic by any standards, Colonel. The last thing I want is a civilian boffin. With respect to the professor, I can't see him jumping out of an aircraft over occupied France. I won't be doing it. The man I want you to take is young and, as far as I know, perfectly fit. As a matter of fact, he was quite an athlete at his college, I seem to remember. Oh, I see. But even so, it's Calm not something down, I'm... Major. Sir? Send in Mr. Lovell, please. I understand your reservations. Well, let's just keep an open mind until we've seen the chap. We've had to change our thinking a little. Yes, I see, sir. Uh, come in, Mr. Lovell. Uh, very good of you to spare the time. I very much appreciate it. Professor Evans. Stephen. Hello. <laughs> I'll be as brief as I can. And do sit down, Mr. Lovell. <clears throat> now, we are sending a, a commando raid into occupied Europe. Now, it's a raiding party for demolition purposes, but the main objective is scientific. Uh -huh. Science always seems to get uh, twisted into destructive purposes. The opposite to what it's about, of course. Oh, yes. It's all very regrettable. Unfortunately, we're in a war which we have to win. <laughs> so, I would like you to be part of that team. You want me? <laughs> to, to play commandos in the middle of Germany? Well, it's France, actually. <laughs> I do have work, you know, of vital importance. I, I didn't realize we were so short of tin soldiers. I'd rather formed the impression that this island was just about ready to sink under their combined weight. Just a minute, lad. There's something I have to explain. We're not short of soldiers. But we are short of engineer scientists who understand what they're looking at. We need someone who can go through their papers and select what is relevant. That means someone who knows as much about it as they do. Look, you know what now, they I must have specifications locked away somewhere and you know how badly we need them. There isn't anyone else, Stephen. I'm too old. Then I have no alternative. Oh, yes, you have. We cannot command you to go. You have the right of every British civilian to refuse. But that right is what this war is all about, I think. Yes. All right. Oh, thank you very much indeed, Mr. Lovell. Right. Can I get back to my lab now? I assume you will let me know when you want me. We want you tomorrow, Mr. Lovell. There is a little bit of training that you have to go through first. You'll be under the guidance and command of... I'm so sorry. Mr. Lovell, Major Gallagher. How do you do? So that man is going to be a pain in the backside. I don't want him. Uh, David? He's overworked and overtired, but I can assure you he's the best man for the job. What makes him so special, Professor? Because he's put together all the information we have on the FZG-76. Nobody understands it better. 
Oh, I know he's difficult, but he doesn't like war, you see. Who does, Professor? These papers, specifications, whatever they are, they really are that essential. I can't stress how essential, Major. Believe me. Have another word with Viado. There's far more to this than just blowing up a dump, Hugh. Yes, I see. So we have to consider the means of breaking into high security areas. Right. Well, excuse me, gentlemen. Come. Brooks, get me New Scotland Yard on the line, will you? Chief Inspector Stern. Thank you, Brooks. Jack. Hugh Gallagher. Jack, I need your help. Who is the best safe man in the business? Yes, safe cracking. But he has to be young and reasonably fit. Sounds ideal. Where can I find him? Well, if he's inside, he can't be all that good. Oh, I see. Hmm. Nice friends. I want to see him today. Can you organize it? Oh, yes, very top clearance. Fine. Jack, thank you. Buy you a drink. Five six one eight one Macklin G. The governor has given permission for you to be unsupervised. Thank you. I'll knock when I'm ready to leave. Yes, sir. What's this, sir? Who the hell are you? Name's Gallagher. Who sent you? Nobody sent me. I wanted to see you. I've got a job for you. Only job I can do in here, mate, is rob the suggestion box. And that's just stuff with bulk paper. Come off it. Job's on the outside. I can get you out to do it, Macklin, but there are conditions. Don't you want to know what they are? If you want me bad enough to come in here and talk about springing me, you want me bad, mister. So when we start talking about conditions, let's swap a few, shall we? I've got a few of my own. I don't need any medals. I'm not offering you medals, Macklin. I'm offering you freedom. And a sizable cash bonus at the end of the job. How big is sizable? I want to see how good you are before I make any offers. Cigarette. You didn't get where I am by being stupid. You're inside, Macklin. That's stupid enough for me. What do I have to do? You join a team of specialists and train for the job. Then you go into German-occupied territory and do it. You do your bit, you get what I said. Freedom and a bonus. Full pardon. Clean slate. Oh, yes. You're on. Though other boys may smile and kiss my cheek When you're away, there's only you You know it's true They hold my hand and whisper in my ear But still I say, there's only you My love is true so if you get a letter from that gossip Jenny Brown, 
to say that she has seen me going dancing in the town. Remember that a uniform reminds me, dear, of you. You know it's true that I love you. One day last week, a sailor said he'd love me to the end. But I quite firmly told him he could only be my friend. Remember that a uniform reminds me, dear, of you. That I love you. Telephone call for you, love. Numbers on your mirror. Bloke wants you to report to his office 9:30 in the morning. 9:30. Mirth. Thought you wouldn't like that. He sounded military. Here, you haven't been called up or nothing, have you? We're that short on feminine artists, it's a fraud. We'll be down to button chairs and tights before long. You see if I'm not right. You don't think they call you up on the telephone, do you? Oh, don't know about that. Here, you haven't got customers on the side, have you? At 9:30 in the morning. <laughs> Hugh, come in. Sir. I don't think you met Colonel Squires, have you? How do you do, sir? Well, the Colonel's agreed to take on your training program. I want you both to go down to the hall, talk the whole thing through. I've filled him in from my angle, and I want you to be totally frank about your side of the project. But with no one else. Yes, yes, indeed. Well, have you finalised your list yet? Not completely, sir. It seems to me now we need five or six for the final assault. Allowing for the usual wastage, I'm reckoning on a group of about a dozen for training. That sounds about right. Sir, I've brought someone with me that I'd like you to meet. He's outside. Oh, yeah. Yes, all right. Will you do me? No. Come in, will you? You can take the cuffs off. This is Mr. George Macklin, sir. I'm told he's the best safe cracker in the business, and I think he might be rather useful to us. I see. Thank you. Uh, whose recommendation are we taking? Chief Inspector Stern, New Scotland Yard. <laughs> Mr. Macri. This cupboard door is locked. Inside the cupboard is my safe, and that is also locked. I'd be very much obliged if you'd open it. Yes, yes, certainly. Come out a bit empty handed. Seen one of these in a few years. 
Way over a ton, these do, you know. Hope your floor's up to it. E two. Forty nine. Twelve. Eighty two. <sighs> Normally have a toolbox, wouldn't I? Still. See what we can do. I'll speak with the Home Office. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Macri. Thank you. I'll arrange the necessary release instructions. Have you got anybody else out there? No, sir. Good. Now, once you get your list together, get it to my girl out there, we can process clearance, and then you two can get on with it. Tim, will you uh, arrange the postings in the usual way? Yes, of course. Never let anyone else do it, old man. Keeps it tidy. Now, ah, when can you come down to the hall? We have rather a lot to talk about. I'd like to be down there by tomorrow, sir. Good. Before we go down, let's meet in your office tomorrow morning. I want you to see someone I have in mind for your team, young officer serving with the Free French. Right, sir. Well, I'll see you then. Colonel. Ah. Oh, well. We may as well go, too. Uh, can I give you lunch, Tim? My dear chap, the only reason I come to London is to see how your club is coping with rationing, of course. <laughs> oh, just a minute. Oh, security? Oh, it's Colonel Gwilym. The safe in my office is unreliable. I want it changed. Now. Next door on the left. Doctor, you've been a great help. A pleasure. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thought you might like a taste of home. Haven't your free French lot sent you any fruit yet? Pity. I'm feeling peckish. No one gets grapes nowadays. There's a war on. Yes, I'd heard. They also tell me the danger of gangrene has passed, and now it's just a matter of reasonable rest. And then I go back to France. Well, soon. You wouldn't stand a chance over there if a German found you with a recent bullet wound in your leg. Listen. In a few weeks' time, I'm going back in there with a the team. And we're going to blow that place sky high. Now, I could use a man who knows the area. Tell me, Major. Why can't the French do this? Because we have the strike and coordinating abilities, and your lot haven't. Because we can do it, and the free French can't. If things were the other way around, we'd be stuck. That's just the way it is. Do not try and patronize my country, Major. Defeat, even temporary defeat, is not easy to live with. Nor is your top brass. Now, what's your answer? What about the leg? I've seen your plates and read the reports. There's no reason why not. Yes. Good. 